and welcome to Notes from the Narrowboat. Uh, I'm Kim. I'm Stephen. That's it. And together we make up the couple that are going to tell you all about our narrowboat experience. And the fun involved. Supposedly, yeah, yes. So we're uh, we're doing this because um, of the lockdown. We can't get to our boat at the moment Sadly. Um, because we're not continuous cruisers. It's not a central journey. Fair enough. So it's uh, just sitting there now. We haven't seen it for nearly quite a few weeks. Yeah, quite a few yeah. weeks now. So, um, um, so we thought we would try doing some YouTube videos on uh, everything we've done with our narrowboat so far and how we got it. Yeah. Um, and we'll start in this episode or chapter one which is so what if yeah what if so that came about because we went away for a weekend because we used to have um a rather nice motor home and we'd go away quite a bit um and this particular weekend we went to oxford and we stayed at blenheim palace, blenheim palace. And it was the weekend of the stolen gold toilet, so it was the toilet heist weekend. Yeah, the toilet, <laughs> gold toilet was on display at Blenheim Palace, and someone decided to pinch it. Yeah. Apparently, with a bit of inside help. Yeah. Um, we'd gone to um, Oxford for the day first. Yeah. Uh, we parked at a local railway station and got into the city. When we came back, we wondered why there was police everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, questioning everybody, looking in their caravans and motorhomes to see if they had this exceptionally heavily solid, heavy solid gold toilet. So it would have been very clever if we had. So, uh, but anyway, um, so while we were away, um, after that fun, we went to Stoke Bruin, Stoke Bruin. on the way back. Oh, yeah. um, lovely day. We're talking early September last year for a, for a time, yeah. and we went on a. Um, well, we went around the Canal Museum yep. first and found that very interesting. And then we noticed that down on the canal there was a boat um, that you could uh, go on a tour up yep. to Blissford, Blissworth Tunnel. Blissworth Tunnel, yep. And uh, it goes halfway, in, well, part of the way into the entrance, turns mm -hmm. all the lights out so it's completely pitch black and yep. then it comes out again. Yeah, I'll tell you about that. We history quite enjoyed that. Yeah, it was all good fun. Yeah. Had a bit of lunch at the pub there and just took in the ambience of it all. Walked along the towpath, didn't That's we? Right. Watched boats coming through the locks and everything. And then I said, uh, stupidly, um, what if we got rid of our motorhome and what was the expense and the pros and cons of being able to have a narrowboat? Because obviously with a motorhome you've got all the expense, servicing, um, paying to go Lorry away. Fees. Yeah. Um, um, all of that, license. so as opposed to the motorhome, whereby yeah, it's quite expensive as well. But also, we we were starting to find that uh, it's difficult. We couldn't book away. sites. It was getting more and more expensive, and because we couldn't go too far, we were running out of places to go as such. So it was so. What if what if we bought a narrowboat? What yeah. would that mean? What would that would that be a good idea? Because I'm not keen on water, so it was a very silly idea to suggest. But in a five seconds flat, he thought it was a good idea. Yeah, well, I've always been interested in boats. Always wanted we've a boat. been to the Broads. We've been on boats there. Uh, we've been on some other higher cruise type boats, yeah. haven't we? Yeah. Um, so it was an interesting idea. So so we came home yeah. and uh, started searching. Went and looked around a couple of marinas, looked at a few boats, didn't really like much of what we saw. It wasn't really us, what we were looking no. for. Not that I we, really we, we decided straight away we didn't want a boat that was too long because we no. weren't going to live in it permanently, it wasn't necessary. And the fees would be a lot yeah. more reasonable. By the foot, as everybody knows. Yeah. So, so we were looking for around a 30 to 35 foot, I think. Yeah. yeah. And then you spotted one on I the spotted boat. a dinky little one. Uh, on the internet, uh, 80 mile away I think it was, wasn't yeah, it, from yeah. us, so it was a couple of hours drive. So Stenson Marina in Derbyshire. So we went and had a look. And uh, it was in a bit of, it wasn't as ex as brilliant as we thought it was going no. to be, but... Um, there was we, something we, about it we liked. There was liked. something about it, and um, we came away 
after, said we'd think uh, about it. After talking to the owner and said that we'd think about it and we had a good think for a couple of days. And we decided that um, we would quite like it so we decided to make them an offer. Yeah, we made an offer subject to survey, survey. Uh, and everything else and we d they did all that, uh, that was done, um, the price was agreed and we bought it. Yeah. So the what if became heck we own a narrowboat. Yeah. What are we going to do? Especially as we've never actually been on one actually to know how to use or do anything. Total newbies. So. Yeah. Yeah, there's mm. a, some pictures of the narrowboat appearing down yep. here in a little while. Um, and maybe some video footage yep. um, of what it was like when we got it. And all the things that we thought of doing to yeah. it. Um, We'll do we'll another both, video. We'll do another video of, of all the things that we yeah. were thought thinking about doing, and about moving it, and, and our experience made, of moving how it. We got it to where we wanted where it to it's go. now. Um, yeah, because it's now on a marina, but yeah. a lot close to where we live. Yeah. Okay, so thanks for watching. Bye for now. See you soon.